Tuesday, the Supreme Court confirming the authenticity of the leaked opinion suggesting it will overturn Roe v. Wade. Chief Justice John Roberts says he is ordering an investigation into what he calls an egregious breach of trust. Arkansas Governor Hutchinson says if Roe v. Wade is overturned, his state will move quickly. Arkansas has already passed a trigger law, which means that uh, we will move to uh, limit abortions even further. State Representative Antonio Parkinson says Tennessee has trigger laws in place as well. I don't know one single person that, that is for abortion, but I know a lot of people that are for the woman's ability to make that choice for herself. Cindy Granger and her group are outside one clinic six days a week. We saved this baby. And if Roe v. Wade is overturned like those who are out here protesting or hoping, clinics like Planned Parenthood could be in jeopardy. I think it gives us hope that hopefully this place and the other places that perform abortions here in Memphis will close down and that these young women will see there are options. Parkinson says it is not that simple. I think what's going to end up happening, you're going to see a lot of uh, people crossing state lines to, uh, you know, have the procedure. President Biden warning a whole range of rights are in jeopardy if it holds. Marcus Hunter, WREG News Channel 3. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer vowed if the ruling stands, the Senate will vote on legislation to uphold women's access to abortions, but stopped short of promising to change Senate filibuster rules.